So this video came about because I was doing some research for my next one, which is all around how to create an Ironman nutrition plan using only Morton products. I stumbled across this clip, which I'm about to play you, and it's of the mighty Jan Fredino in an interview talking to Morton about how he uses their gels, and it caught my attention. You'll see why in a moment, but how he uses them is potentially one of the best ways to use their gels, especially if you're into endurance events like triathlons, marathons, or ultra marathons. My probably number one race hack that I see uh, is actually getting some traction and a lot of people doing it is that I have an, a, a small bottle inside my frame that I put in three gels per hour. So for every hour that I anticipate on being on the bike, I put in three gels. Now, some people mix their gels with water, but personally, I'm not really a fan of that for several reasons. And I didn't think that Jan would be doing that. I also wasn't sure that it would actually work because of the hydrogel structure of their gels. So I reached out to Morton and asked for some info about this. They explained that because of the structure of them, water won't mix with their gels. So depending on your viewpoint, this could be good or bad. But it got me thinking, how could this fit with a nutrition plan and could it actually be useful? Now I'm going to relate this to Ironman nutrition because that's where I could see it being most helpful but you could also use this for something like a marathon too. On the bike leg of an Ironman, this would essentially allow you to carry all of your fuel, so all of your carbohydrates, just in one or two bottles. You could just squeeze them all in and then boom, you're done. This could be game changing for a lot of people because carrying enough nutrition on the bike can be a big challenge and this fixes that problem. The other benefit here is that you can completely separate your carb intake from your hydration. Because you've got gels as your only carbohydrate source, you can have much more control over your fluid intake and the amount of sodium or salt that you're consuming. I really like this because it simplifies things and means that you can definitely hit your carb goals. You could easily use this for the run leg or during a marathon, just by putting all of the gels into a bottle and then sipping that over the run and just use aid stations for your fluid. Saying that though, Morton currently sponsor Ironman events as a nutrition partner, which means that you should be able to pick up their gels at the aid station, so you might not need to do that. The main issue though with this is getting the gels out whilst on the bike. You'll generally have to flick the bottle a bit to make sure that you get the gels to the end so you can drink them, but this shouldn't be a deal breaker. Now I thought I would talk through my own experiences of using the Morton gels like this. I've given this several attempts to see how it actually works in practice, including on the bike, to see if there are any problems with it. What I've found is that you have to have a critical mass of gels to make this work. And as a very minimum, I would suggest three, but more is better. I've also noticed that different bottles are better than others, and I think that's to do with the tops. So you might need to experiment to see what works best for you. The other thing is that although water doesn't actually mix with the hydrogels, a little bit of water in a bottle does make the gels come out easier. So I think that might be worth playing around with too. Anyway, the short sum up here is that this is definitely a viable strategy. It's just one that you need to experiment with and practice to make sure that you are comfortable with it. Now I mentioned this at the start, but the next video that I'm gonna release is all about how to create an Ironman nutrition plan using only Morton products. So if you're interested in that, make sure you press subscribe, click the notification icon to get an alert when I do, and if I already have, It'll be up on the screen for you now.